future of Union Pier is coming into focus, but there's still a lot of debate on how to develop the precious 70 acres of property. Our Floriana Boardman is live downtown reporting on the three main factors one city leader once considered and when you can learn more about current plans. Floriana. Katie, I spoke with Councilman Mike Seekings today. He tells me he's eager to see something beautiful come from this land behind me. But there's also an unprecedented opportunity to bring infrastructure to the east side. Beautiful homes, terrible roads, and flooding. Three things we all know well here in Charleston. But Councilman Mike Seekings believes the redevelopment of Union Pier can address all three aspects of Charleston's character like architecture. We have to make sure whatever is built out there is consistent with 2023 Charleston and honors the history of Charleston. Roads. Concord Street has been closed now for decades. East Bay Street desperately needs to be reconfigured and soften the edge of Ansonboro so they can get their neighborhood back. And finally, stormwater protection. We have a real opportunity there to get ahead of this, to lead on perimeter protection, to show how it might work in other parts of the peninsula. And again, an opportunity I really would hate to see go by the wayside. On the other side, the historic Charleston Foundation is concerned that the current plan doesn't do enough to address character. It is way too dense. It's way too tall. Uh, we don't think there's adequate open space throughout the project. Or waterfront access. We want to see open space brought into the site and so that there are you know, people can kind of see that there is a, a place out there where they can go. While Councilman Seeking says there's still work to be done on the plan, he's excited something is actually happening to the property. We've got one opportunity right now to ensure that Union Pier is somehow redeveloped to get away from port operations. The city will have three informational sessions on the Union Pier redevelopment. The first will cover stormwater management. Well, the city of Charleston is getting closer to connecting the peninsula and West Ashley. The Ashley River Crossing Project, a bicycle and pedestrian bridge, is underway. ABC News 4's Conley Grayson spoke with Charleston city officials working on the project and has more on the latest update. Tessa, Jason Kronsberg, the director of parks for the city of Charleston, says the project is close to on time, with construction potentially beginning this summer. They're reliant on this project. Nearly half of Charleston's population lives in West Ashley, but there is no safe pedestrian or bicycle connection to downtown. You've got employment density, population density, and then this gap of access in between. In order to fix that, the city of Charleston started working on the Ashley River Crossing project in 2019. Nearly three years later, the city is getting closer to construction. There have been a, a series of confidential meetings with the contractors going through um, their technical questions, uh, requests for information, and, and clarifying any uh, questions they had. They hope to have this part of the process wrapped up in a month. After bid evaluations, Kronsberg says they will go through contract negotiations. We can bring a contract to City Council in June, and then at that point we would issue a notice to proceed after we got all of the uh, paperwork completed and the project would start. Katie Zimmerman with Charleston Move says the bridge will be a game changer. It's going to make biking and walking and running across the Ash River way more efficient than, than current, much safer. Um, you know, we recently lost uh, someone biking over the Ash River Bridge. They were hit and killed, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to save lives as well. I would say of the top three issues that we hear about on a weekly basis from folks, the Ash River Crossing is the number one. Zimmerman says as far as the city being quality connected with biking and walking infrastructure, we have a lot of work to do. When the project is finished, it'll increase access to schools, jobs, and other amenities for both visitors and residents. Kronsberg says, most importantly, it'll ensure safety.